welcome my people to episode 2 of the U series, man. Number 10 Miami against FAU. Miami starts off the season 0-1 after a bad loss to Florida. This game, what we're going to try to do is run the football. We couldn't do that last game, and Duke Johnson is going to do that on the second play of the game, getting to his 40, to his 30, pushed out before his 20-yard line, but not before a 47-yard rush. That is the plan this game. Run the football. Run the football. We're not playing a very good team, and we have an impact player at Duke Johnson Jr., so we got to take advantage of him. But we also want to keep fresh legs, so we're going to hand it off to the freshman running back, Joseph Yerby, and get his touches. We want to have a balanced attack, but on third and two, we're going to throw the football, throw a dot to Waters, almost gets a touchdown, stop short, 12-yard reception, we have a first and goal. What are we going to do? Give it to our impact player, first and goal, but gets hit for a two-yard loss. Good defense by FAU, but we're not going to give up on the running game. Give it back to Duke Johnson, bounces off his tackle, and gets in for a five-yard touchdown run. Miami goes up early, drove down the field, run the football. That's what Miami U is going to be this season. And as the extra point goes up, number 10 Miami goes up 7-0 on FAU. Let's look at the updates. Our in-state rival, number 1 Florida State, goes down 35-28 at Nevada. We got no problem with that, man. Let them go down. We have no love for them. But we do got love for Dion Bush, and he will be out three weeks with a broken toe. So we'll see how we make up for him. And even with a missing player on defense, we're going to have to find a way to stop impact player and dual threat quarterback Jaquez Johnson, who's a runner and a good thrower. So we got to take an eye on him. But not even that, man. We got to keep an eye on his running game, make sure he doesn't get any play action or get any option play going. Just like we see on these first two downs, they're going to run the football. But on third and two, can they run it? They're going to throw it. He can't find anybody, but finds a receiver at the sidelines just good enough for a first down. That'll be a three-yard reception. First and ten, has a tight end in the motion. Johnson jogs back. Who is going to find? Dumps it off back to his tight end for about a good seven-yard game. Second and three, we're sending the blitz. They're going to run the football, but who other than Kilo is going to be over there for a one-yard loss? Third and four. He's going to run out of the pocket. Johnson is, but he's going to be sacked for a one-yard loss. But there again, the cocaine Kilo is back, man. Fourth and five. FAU is going to put the ball back to receive his waters. Waters receives it. He's going to try to break it out to the outside. Trying to get to his 30. Doesn't get quite there, but has a good 12-yard return. Back to Duke Johnson. Back to the running game. Ooh, and he breaks the outside. Back to the inside of Duke. Gets about almost 20 yard lines already Miami in the first quarter. 82 yards rushing. So what are we going to do? Play action. Dump it back to our tight end. Ryan Williams with a good throw across his body for a 14 yard reception to the tight end Walford. Tight end in motion. Back to the running game. In the game, Joseph Yearby, freshman. Run it to the outside. Back to the inside. Good blocks. Good vision to the 10. And that will be a touchdown for Joseph Yearby. 40 yard touchdown. We are running the football. That's what we have to do. And that's what we're going to do all day, all day. And like that, your Hurricanes go up 14-0 to zero early up in the football game. Not even the end of the first quarter. And we're throwing up touchdowns. That's a good thing to see, especially from a struggling offense from last week. First and 10. FAU back with the football. They're looking to throw it. That's what we want to see. We do not want to see a running game. We want to see the pass offense. And it's good for a six-yard reception on first down. Second and four, play action. Johnson finds his receiver for barely for a good first down. Four-yard reception. We're seeing right now FAU is just dinking and dunking. We need to stop that. Second and ten, Johnson throwing again. Dumps it off, and it's going to be popped by Alex Figueroa. That's what happens. You dump it off slow, or you're going to get hit. Second and six, bad usering once, twice, maybe three times. He's going to pass his 32 to 20. Johnson down to his 10 for a 50-yard run. We can't let that happen, man. We got to keep him in the pocket, and we got to get our users straight. First and 10, back to the run. That's going to be stopped for no yard game. Defending our house, that's what the U is all about. Second and 10, back to the running game. Gets off his block, Alex Figueroa. Again, no gain, and he's going to injure Tony Moore, starting running back for FAU. Third and ten, passing down. Got to defend our Renzo. Johnson, who's he going to find? Finds his receiver, but overthrows him. Had a small gap. 
But you know what? I guess the defense can parade themselves. They made a stop. FAU settles for the field goal and is still down 3-14. to Back to receive his waters. Keeps it in his end zone. And look at those statistics. 8 rushing yards for 122 yards. This rushing game is doing work. First and 10. Goes to the screen. Gets popped. But Coley's good enough for a 9-yard reception. And that's going to lead us into the second quarter. FAU down to your Hurricanes. 3-14. to Let's get this quarter started. Second and one goes to the running game back Johnson cuts it in gets tackled but good enough to the 40-yard line for a seven-yard rush Six rushes for 81 yards averaging 13.5 yards a carry That is crazy Gene decides to pass quick pass to Philip Dorsett Haven't heard his name all game because we stick to the running game But that's good for a 17-yard reception So first and 10 Going to run it switches to a pass Ryan William does and zips it into waters again Breaks a tackle, 14-yard reception. Waters, I don't know, man. He's that catching traffic guy. 10, tries to go for a play action. Tries to force it into his receiver, but gets batted down. Thank God it was not intercepted. Gets us to a second and 10. Getting back to the running game, Duke Johnson tries to cut it inside. And that's going to be good for a 5-yard rush. Third and five, passing down. Can we get a conversion? Williams dumps it off to Coley. That's not going to be good enough for a first down. Just a one-yard reception. Good stop by FAU. And on fourth and four, where you are going to settle for a field goal. Ugh, kind of a crooked kick. But 17 to three, can't complain. Up 14 points. We're excited about that. First and 10, FAU back with the ball. Johnson gets an option, cuts it into his inside, almost gets a first down. But tackled by number 56, Rafael Kirby, middle linebacker. Second and one, we're going to send the blitz. Can we stop this running game? Cuts it to the left, cuts it back inside. Flores is headed, but does get dragged down before the 50-yard line. Good run by FAU. First and 10, starting quarterback Johnson is injured. So in is backup quarterback Hangerson on his second and down play. Throws it out of bounds. Leads us to a third and 10. What is he going to do? Playing man coverage. Third and 10, Hankerson goes for a screen, dumps it off to Moore. Moore fighting for the first down, gets gang tackled by a bunch of Hurricanes. But it looks like Moore is hurt, holding his left arm. Fourth and one, we're playing a punt safe zone. I wonder why, because it's going to be a fake. Their punter, Kelly, is looking for somebody to pass to. Doesn't find it, but he gets hit, fumbles, and McCord picks it up, stumbles down, and we're in the 30-yard line. Second and nine, Williams trying to pass, tries to zip it into receiver almost intercepted by their cornerback LeBlanc third and nine nobody in the backfield Ryan Williams who is he gonna find and he zips it into waters the cornerback tries to bat it down doesn't get it 22 yard gain back to Johnson jr. first and goal and that's gonna be a four yard touchdown for your Hurricanes we are about to go up 24 to 3 on FAU a dominant performance by the running game barely in the first half FAU finds himself down 24 to 3. How will they respond? Johnson back to throw. Quick pass intercepted by junior cornerback Tracy Howard. And he's going to take that back for a pick six, my boy. 31 to 3, just in a matter of plays. Just before the second half, the Hurricanes put up 31 points on the board. Down 31 to 3. Can Johnson rally his troops? Motions his tight end to the left side, playing man coverage. Johnson runs out of the pocket, but is sacked for a three-yard loss by Tony Moore. Second and 13, the Hurricanes are playing a very heavy zone. Can Johnson find any receivers? Runs out of the pocket again, but is sacked by Denzel Perryman, senior outside linebacker. Third and 19, can we get a stop? Johnson looks for a receiver, zips it in right between our zone and our deep safety coverage, giving up a big 32-yard reception. First and 10, Johnson drops back, pump fakes, finds an open receiver, and he is down to almost his 30-yard line for a 20-yard reception. First and 10, playing heavy zone again, and Johnson runs out of the pocket but is sacked by Tony Moore again. Second sack of this drive, third and 15. Can we not give up a big third down conversion? 15, Johnson just throws it up to his receiver and is batted down by Antonio Crawford. Good coverage by the junior cornerback. Fourth and 15, FAU will go for a long field goal and it is up and barely makes it, but three points on the board. Look at that, 13 rushing plays, 142 yards gained. 
almost more than 10 yards per carry. First down, less than two minutes to go. Just dumps it off to Joseph Yerby. Finding if we can find any more points before halftime. Leads us to a second and six. Gonna run the ball with Duke Johnson Jr. Looks like a counter and we're gonna get stuffed up. A two yard loss. First and 10, FAU gets the ball back. We don't try to force anything. Dump it off to the receiver and he gets a first down for a 12 yard reception. Hurry up offense, Johnson back to throw. Who is he gonna find with 56 seconds left? Runs out of the pocket, passes, doesn't get the first down. Second and one, nine yard rush. 52 seconds left, Johnson drops back, runs out of the pocket again, and this time tackled by Kirby, but not after a nine yard rush. Heavy zone, Johnson back to run again, but is sacked by Tony Moore, which is gonna be his third sack of the first half. Johnson tries to run out of the pocket again and is sacked, and that's gonna lead us into halftime. You're Miami, you Hurricanes, number 10 in the nation, up 31 to six on Florida Atlantic. Start of the first half, FAU gets the ball, but their senior quarterback is out for the next couple weeks. So back in will be their backup quarterback, Hangerson. First and 10, looks to throw and gets tackled only for a one yard loss. Good pass coverage by the Hurricanes. Second and nine, Hankerson back to drop, just dumps it off to receiver, gets popped by number 56, Rafael Kirby, our middle linebacker. Goes for a screen, and there's Kirby again, laying the boom, one yard loss. Kirby gets the third down stop, fourth and six. FAU's gonna punt the ball. Back to receive will be Waters as usual. Waters gets his ball at about the 20, jukes to the outside, gets a little good chip block, down to the 45, gets shoe tackled, 23 yard return, great return. First and 10, Williams hands the ball off to Johnson. Johnson hits the outside, one man to beat. Jukes into the inside to his 10 to touchdown. 55 yard touchdown run by DJ Duke Johnson Jr., man. Hit that move for us, hit that move for us. 38 to six, man. Look at this dirty double juke. Whoop, whoop. Damn. His ankles, man. I say rest in peace. 38 to 6. FAU back with the ball. Hangerson looks to run out of the pocket. Does. Breaks one tackle. Runs backward. And it's only going to gain four yards. Could have been worse. Happy with it. Happy with it. Second and 6. Hankerson drops back. Looks to run out of the pocket. Gets the first down. Dragging another defender. But finally tackled down after a 12-yard rush. We need to try to keep Hankerson in the pocket. We didn't have that much trouble with Johnson, so we cannot have a big problem with his backup. Second and 10 just throws it out of bounds to lead us to a third and 10, playing heavy coverage. Johnson looking like he can't find a receiver. No one's open and gets sacked by Denzel Perryman, senior linebacker again, if I'm not mistaken. This is his second sack of the game. Fourth and 10, they punt us back to ball. We're gonna run the football again. Back to Joseph Yerby, nine yard rush. We gotta keep them fresh legs and what I'm liking from Yerby right now, man. Yerby back, gets the first down, five yard rush. We're just gonna pound it with Yerby. Back to the run, Yerby. Off tackle, cuts it inside, nine yard rush. Second and one, man in motion, back to Yerby, Yerby, Yerby. Five yard rush, this man is getting first down. Seven rushes, 76 yards, 10 yards per carry, and there's another 10 yards, nine yards for a first down. We're just chewing the clock, trying to get this game over, and Yerby is doing that, but he wants touchdowns. Oh, he tries to juke it back inside, but not after a 26 yard rush. He's over 100 yards today, only on nine carries. Go. We hand it off to Gus Edwards, our third string running back for a five yard rush. But on second and goal, we're going back to Yerby. We want to give them this touchdown. Yerby up the middle, fights in for a one yard touchdown. 10 rushes, 112 yards, and two rushing touchdowns. Finding themselves 45 to six up on FAU. Let's see if this Hurricane defense can extend this shutout and not give up any touchdowns. Hankerson runs out of the pocket and it's sacked for a one yard loss. 
See, now we have backups in. We decided to put all of our backups in, not trying to get anybody injured. And another sack, and that's going to be by number 98, Muhammad. But like I was saying, um, this play is probably going to lead us into the fourth quarter. Throwing a screen to Howell gets tackled by Ambraster. And that's going to lead us to the fourth quarter. And this is where we're going to just bring in all our backups, not trying to get anybody injured. We already have Dion Bush that's injured, and we do not want to mess with that. So... You know, we're just going to bring in quarterback, back of quarterback Olsen. Yerby is going to get most of the touches, but even him, we're going to give him a couple. And then uh, bring in Gus Edwards back in so uh, we don't get anybody injured. Because uh, Joseph Yerby is part of our future. He is barely a freshman, and we like what we're seeing from him. And uh, right now, he's going to split the touches with Duke Johnson Jr. And maybe for a couple years, if we can bring DJ back. But uh, second and eight. Look at those look at those statistics. 13 rushes, 130 yards, 10 rushing yards per carry. Insane. And here we go. Gus Edwards, see what we could find out of him. Fourth and one. Can Joseph Yerby get it? But he's going to be stopped short for a one yard loss. Second and eight. Hackerson's gonna lead the troops to see if he can find any way of getting points. And the receiver breaks a bunch of tackles. 20 yard reception. Basically, just trying to get some moral points right now, man. First and 10. Back to his receiver in motion. Only good for a four-yard reception. Second and six. Hankerson looking for his receiver. It's going to be a screen, but cannot get it off. And is tackled by number 99, Hamilton. Third and six. Hankerson runs out of the pocket, but is sacked for his six-yard loss. And I think it's the second sack by Muhammad as well. Second and nine, back to Gus Edwards. Only good for a three-yard rush. Just really trying to end this game out. And skipping third down, on to fourth down. Less than two minutes, we're just going to punt the football. Not trying to do any damage or do anything fancy. Back to receive will be Neesman. Neesman to his 50, cuts inside to the 40, makes a bunch of wiggle moves into the 35-yard line. 29-yard punt return. Second and 11. Yep. Even the Hurricane D second stringers are doing some work right now, man. Second and 11. Back to the receiver. Gets a first down, passing almost to the 20 yard line. 16 yard reception. One minute left on the clock. Hankerson is going to be sacked again. Number 17. Do not know the brother, but we will know him in the future. Third and 16. Hankerson back to drop. Who is he going to find? Every receiver is covered into coverage. Almost intercepted. And that's going to lead FAU to a fourth and 16. We're just dropping everybody back. Our Eagles are too strong. We are not trying to give up a touchdown. But they do get a first down. First and goal. 12 seconds left on the clock. Five seconds. Four will be the last play of the game. Motions tries to run the football. But that is stopped for a four-yard loss. And that's how we're going to close off the game, guys. 45-6 to victory over FAU. The U, man, where the defense is looking really nice. Our running game looks superb this game. Of course, MVP has got to go up to Duke Johnson Jr. Look at that, 156 yards on only 14 carries and three touchdowns. Yerby had a bunch of... Probably, I think he had like 120, two touchdowns as well on Bayer, and probably barely like 12, 13 carries. And, um, you know, it was a great game. You know, sorry that the second half was such a boy, it was really boring. I was just trying to run out the clock and just try to end it. You know what I mean? I probably would have not shown it at all, but at least I wanted you guys to show the dynamics of our backup running backs doing work. But, you know, next game is going to be way more exciting. I know that for sure. Uh, I'm going to try to get that done so I can have it to you guys by tomorrow. I know I've been really lagging. It's been maybe a last since a week since I last uploaded a UC, uh, U episode. But, I mean, we're getting back to the grind, man. Uh, there you go. Look at the rushing game, man. Both of our running backs over 135 yards, man. Both close to 14 carries. Two touchdowns apiece for each running back. Receivers didn't do that much. We didn't really need them because the running game was doing so superb. The defense was doing really great, getting a bunch of uh, tackles for losses and everything. We did play a different defense. Uh, I did go back uh, into different playbooks, even offensively. You know, I put a lot of uh, strong powers, a lot of counters in it, different pistol formations, different uh, strong formations and stuff like that. And then um, on defense, I added a 4-4. 
formation, I added a 4-6 formation. So those have really been helping in the running game and um, basically just getting a good pass rush. Um, so we, we we did. We limited two really good mobile quarterbacks, especially the first stringer, uh, Johnson. Uh, we both sacked him five times apiece. <laughs> so, you know, did really good. I'm really excited. I'm really proud of this team. And uh, we move on to next week, man. Next week will be an old-time rival of the U, which will be Penn State, who is starting off 1-2. and two. Uh, They're slightly not as great as us. <laughs> we are rated a B+, plus, they're rated a B-, minus, so not that big of a difference. Um, their schedule, let's see, lost to EMU and lost to Central Florida. You know, not great teams, but, you know, can't wait for next week, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Next episode will probably be done at least by tomorrow. If not, Friday for sure. We'll get that to you guys as soon as I can, man. Peace and love. Y'all take care. This is Machiavelli signing out.